currently getting ready for work but when i tell you that it's so hot to, to the point where i don't even want to put any lotion on my skin like it's so damn hot because i feel like all i'm gonna feel is like something on me along with the fact that it's so humid outside and it's 5 a.m and i'm gonna be sweating and it's gonna be sweating and we're all gonna be a wet sweaty mess yesterday when I was coming home like it was just terrible I'm just like damn why I gotta be so hot and I felt like the fact that it was so hot I was so drained to the point where when I came home I didn't even have the energy to do anything else other than to like curl up into bed and like with the need to go sleep like that was it oh. today when I'm coming home I plan to oh, I think I just got oil on my camera today when I'm coming home I plan to stop by Marshalls because I want to buy something. I don't have just one set thing in mind, but I want to stop. Yesterday I was going to stop, but I'm like, damn, I'm tired. I want to go home and sleep. So I decided against it in like the last second. But like I even set a reminder just now to remind me at like 3 30 to go over there. Like I haven't gone in a minute. Not that I'm trying to spend, but <laughs> want to go. So we're going to do that. But that's pretty much the plan for today. I feel like I put so much moisturizer on now that I'm like visible to shiny. And I like to use this vitamin E oil with my lotion because it's gonna be feeling hella dry when like it's just the lotion and like it looks white and every that's not cute. So we're not doing that. So that's where we're at. Just done getting ready i have six minutes to put my shoes on and to literally leave so i have like the grace period that i like to have when i get to work so so for the last couple of months i've had pre-recorded vlogs on my channel and so i was doing fine so like i had up to a month of uploading like three times a week previously recorded and like scheduled and whatever and now I'm at the point where like it's catching up to me in like real time not even with like a week or two delayed like as in actual real time so like right now i don't really have maybe i have like two videos that are previously recorded but everything else we're gonna just have to wing as we go along and for a long time like i was doing so good i feel like since 2019 i was doing pretty good with the uploads in the sense where like uh, I already had them ready to go and for the entire year like I kept the momentum going but like right now it's a little bit harder because the last couple of weeks I the last couple of months actually since the year started I have been extending a lot of grace to myself I haven't been stressing myself out too much if I don't feel like recording I don't because I feel like the way how I am um, if I'm not in a good mood, I'm just not. And energy is transferable, and that's not the type of energy that I want to transfer in my videos. My videos are supposed to be fun, and like I'm happy watching them back because I feel like I'm being my true self and living in my truth. And honestly, these last couple of months was not it. So, well, these last couple of months have been it without actually being it. Like, a lot of back and forth a little flip floppy here and there but like we're good these little strappy heeled sandals that are trending right now and i'm thinking about getting like a pair or two right however here's my dilemma i can find these anywhere anywhere for cheap right however i'm also that person who i don't like when my feet hurt like my shoes are not supposed to be hurting my feet so I typically will want to like spend a little bit more to just get a good one that I know is sustainable. You know, I'm going to have it for a little minute as opposed to buying like four pairs of cheaper ones. And I'm kind of in a pickle here because I want to buy two and I do not want to spend $300. But I think I might have to just because I'm thinking about like the longevity of it all and I feel like it is 
a lot. Neck deep in the ghetto. Shots are firing. Face on the asphalt, like my sister would say. Just ghetto, okay? When you get dressed, you look nice, you're going out, and your shoe pops off. I'm not doing that. And then because of that too, I get embarrassed easily. And because of that too, I'm just like, yeah. Jenny, you don't want to be messing around with these cheaper pairs, even though sometimes the brands that mimics the designers or whatever, they do a pretty decent job. But it's like fast fashion, you know? Oh, I really want to do that? Probably not. Because if I ever get dressed in a pair of shoes, pop off, it's over. It's, that done broke my whole vibe. I'm not doing that. Traumatized by this. You might ask if this has never happened to me one time. I went to one of my friend's wedding and her friend, her shoe just, the heel just came off. And I'm just like, well, damn, look, what is going on? And I felt like she just had it for a while and didn't wear it. And the thing was just coming off, but I'm not trying to go through that. Literally on my way home. And I just went to Marshall's and what do you know? never fails they spent 74 dollars pretty much 75 dollars but i got some really cute tops that are really good quality that i don't feel like i would have found anywhere else and so i'm very happy about those and i asked the girl before i left like what is the return and exchange policy and she pretty much said 30 days so when i go home i'm gonna try on the tops and like see if they fit and of course can't go to marshall's and not buy another candle because i bought another one this one smells so good i feel like they all smell good though but I bought another one. I like some cute tops. And of course, I literally cannot go into Marshall's and not buy anything for my goddaughter. So got her two more things. I also texted her dad and asked if he could like come get this stuff because typically um I'd like go drop them off and like go over there or whatever. But I haven't been in a minute and I don't know when I'm gonna go because of work and like I'm planning for an upcoming trip. So like I'm working OD. So he hasn't responded yet, but I'm sure it won't be an issue. I'm gonna go home, try this stuff on, and hopefully I like them as much as like I like them in the store or like the vision that I had for them when I saw them. So we'll see. Today is not even that hot, which I'm very happy for because it's been hot lately. But we'll see. Just got home and I always knew that I had slight slight issue. But <laughs> today gotta to confirm that, right? So I said that I'm gonna stop by Marshall's, which I did. My insurance policy, my life insurance policy. I need to check on this. I'm done. Let's open it and just leave it up here so I actually remember. Anyways, I decided to stop by Marshalls, right? And I absolutely cannot, cannot, I don't see why I would do that anyways, but I cannot go into Marshalls and not buy cute baby clothes for my goddaughter. Separate from that, let me show y'all. Y'all think I'm exaggerating all the time? This is a bag of clothes that I bought for her weeks ago. And all these things are summer-esque, which I just texted her dad to, you know, they're small. Like she could wear these right now. So I texted her dad and I'm like, yo, you can pick them up because with how I've been working these days, I don't know when I'm going to get to come over there. But it doesn't stop there. I saw these and they were so darn cute. So I bought them for her. And then I bought this. I really had to find some discipline. It is hot as hell. And if it's too hot for me, it's too hot for her. But I really had to find some discipline because I could not help myself when I saw how cute these were. These two come with a little headband with like material from both of these. So it like goes together. But that's all. And I'm putting the bag out. So whenever her dad decides to like come get it, then it's there and it's ready. For myself, I bought a few things. I bought this candle because, of course, I'm absolutely obsessed with candles and nothing smells better than teak and vanilla together. Putting y'all on, teak and vanilla. That is absolutely the wave, right? Always love to have like a new candle and the other one that I had in here, I brought it into the kitchen the other day because the one in the kitchen was done. I bought these little body suits because the material is amazing. I'm gonna try them on in a minute here. And um, the colors are nice, nice nude colors. Plus I'm going on a trip, so like I need these things. Another one here, this is a little bit different. These are all small by the way, but Marshall Small always fits. This blue one is like um, one shoulder, I think it's very cute. And then I bought this one that's just a 
regular kind of like tank it's a little bit thicker but it's very nice and i specifically bought these because i know that these tops that i found at marshall like I'm, um i'm saying that i specifically know that i'm never going to be able to find these ones again anywhere else or like anything like them i come and i see this big box downstairs and i'm like wait what is that can't remember what i bought because obviously i have issues and i buy too much however when i felt the box and i felt that it was heavy i'm like uh-uh like i really need to figure out what this is it's fabric softener a huge container because i mixed this with my downy on stuff the other day i'm like the scent of the combination was literally everything and so i decided to just buy the big container on amazon it's leaking out but whatever the other day i was in the grocery store and this was for a shitload of money and i was on amazon for cheaper and these are the reasons why i pay for prime got it in two days bomb yeah anyways i'm about to turn the air conditioner on and try these things on to see if they fit me and if they're worth my money and that's all